Hi everyone, this is Emma from Emma Dawn Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to make Harry the Basset Hound. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Cricut Design Space because I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker. I'm going to click on New Project, Upload and then Upload Image and navigate to where the SVG file is and then upload the two dogs. And here we have them just here on the screen. So I'm going to select this plain dog first and run through all the layers with you on the right hand side so you can see what cuts are involved with this plain dog. So if you go through and you turn them all off, all these layers and then turn them back on, you'll see what each of them are used for. Now to make things simple for me, I'm going to be cutting a base layer out of white and then turning off the other layers. Now these little cream coloured layers, these are so that you can, say for example, if you wanted him to have um, like a, a slightly different coloured face, if you're to cut him out of card, or if you want a brown leg, or if you wanted different colours, then it gives you the option to go through and select the layers that you do or do not want to cut out. So for the plain one, all I'm going to be doing is a white base, the brown ears, and the black cutout, and that's it. With this pattern dog, all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to go through and switch off every single layer, all the different patterns, all the different cutouts, because I'm not going to be using any of them, just the black outline. So you can see what it will look like without any of the layers. Once I'm happy with everything, I'm just going to then save my project and then we're going to go and click on make it. So once we've clicked on make it, it'll take us to the next section. This is sort of like a map preparation area and it shows you the different colours that you will need for your project and what cuts are on each different mat. When I'm happy with everything, I just go click continue and we let the maker talk to design space so it can kind of connect them both up so that you can do your cuts. Now mine takes a while so I do apologise, I don't know why considering it is so close to my computer. But once this loads up, it will then show you the materials that you can use or select uh, as part of your project. Now I'm going to be using cardstock today for these cutouts, but obviously you can use vinyl if you are doing a vinyl project. And here we go, finally it loads up. So I'm going to be using cardstock and I tend to use 220 GSM weight paper. Um, for the white and the brown, so I'll just use craft setting and then for the black one I use a special setting which is my custom made material which cuts the card twice. So next thing is just getting all my cards ready and also my mats and then off we go with the cuts. Now this is a really handy tip which I found out very very early on and I was very thankful for. If you're using cardstock or vinyl, turn your mat upside down, sort of sticky side to the table and then peel that mat off your design rather than the other way around as it stops your card or your vinyl from curling so it just keeps it nice and flat so when you come to work with it or assemble it, it's all flat rather than curly. So this is quite a quick assembly process. So all I'm doing is just sticking the black outline onto the white base, and then I'm gonna infill with the brown ears and the brown face, um, just like a little puzzle basically. And it's as simple as that. Um, if you are using different parts of the SVG, then you just add them. And there we have it. We have our see-through patterned dog, and then we also have the one which is filled in. Again, these could be cut out of vinyl, so your look at the end project for you will be different. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like it and the design. Please do like and subscribe and come follow me on social media for regular design updates. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.